Hello, let's talk about Siglib, Sigmoid loss for language image pre-training. This is continuation of the thread that we started with clip and will end with polygemma. This paper comes after lit, which we discussed yesterday, and is mostly an efficiency improvement. So they discover how to uh, compute a new loss function that is easier to compute, more efficient, uses less memory, and makes things faster. Uh, and also turns out to have uh, slightly better results. So it's not uh, complete, like a doing completely different thing. It's doing the same thing, just slightly differently. Specifically, the way that the loss is normally computed in works like Clip. Uh, it, it's using um, softmax-based cross uh, um, symmetric cross entropy. And that works really well, but it has the problem of uh, having to normalize things twice, uh, iterate over the batch, the entire batch twice to compute normalization factors. So this is a uh, an illustration of how the different, this is the old loss and this is the new loss. And the thing to notice here is in the old loss, you so B here is the is the batch. So the larger your batch, the, the longer the situation will take. So here you iterate over your batch examples um, to, to compute the, the softmax um, component of loss, both from image to text and from text to image to make sure that they uh, match well. And then you have to do it twice. So once for image text and once for text to image, you have to iterate through the batch twice for every example in your batch to, to compute the loss. And that turns out to be expensive. And it turns out we can do something cheaper. So this is the sigmoid loss that they propose. And you'll notice that we still have to iterate through all the um, combinations in the batch of so the image and text pairs and compute their losses. But for every individual cell, every individual loss, we don't have to iterate through the entire batch because we don't need this normalization factor and that makes things uh, faster. So this is the main insight. Just like this is the main contribution of the paper, uh, figuring out that this is something you can do. And then there's a whole bunch of experiments to justify and show that this is actually, uh, that it actually makes sense in practice. So besides this mathematical optimization, they also have this chunked implementation, which uh, optimizes how different devices or different GPUs are used and optimizes how their sort of memory is used as well to, makes it, to make it faster in practice to, to compute. I'm not going to go into this. Uh, I do want to mention a couple of more experiments that they run. So here, so they, uh, they use this loss function both in the lit setup and lib setup. So lib is training both the image and text encoder from scratch, and lit is keeping the image encoder frozen and only um, training the text encoder. In both of these cases, sigmoid loss works well. It works uh, significantly better than the standard softmax approach for smaller batch sizes. The difference disappears as you increase the batch size, but it still doesn't really get worse. It does get worse over here, but you know th this batch size is just a parameter that you can control. So the most important thing is basically what the highest point is. And this, in this case, the highest point is still the sigmoid loss. It's the highest point of this is still higher than the highest point of the softmax. Uh, so Overall, in these experiments, it still turns out to be a good thing to do, just in terms of the final performance numbers. But it is also faster and uses less memory, so uh, so why not do it? So the experiment with, uh, because of these efficiency gains, they now can scale up the batch sizes. And they say that there was this uh, perception previously that for contrastive learning, batch sizes, you know, the, the bigger, the better. And here, they can get really large batch sizes, up to a million. But they discovered that it doesn't actually matter. Once you get to something like 32,000, uh, things don't really improve. So we don't need to scale up that far. But because of this, they, they could. And so that, that gives them the option. Um, also, over here, you can see that the sigmoid loss variant, which is the uh, solid line, is usually at least a little bit better than the dashed line, which is the softmax variant. Um, and they've investigated it both for lit and lip variants. They also did multilingual pre-training that we won't go into. And a lot of other experiments that we'll also not go into because we don't have time. But very comprehensively written paper and uh, interesting insight. So um, yeah, it's this, uh, I'm glad I read it. It's not the most like mind-blowing paper, um, but it's still really useful. Thanks.